Hi everyone, this is Brian Lindley, producer of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Today we're going to check out some gameplay from our Gardens and Graveyards multiplayer mode on our Driftwood Shores map. Now Gardens and Graveyards is a little bit like Battlefield's Rush mode and Conquest mode remixed together but with Plants vs. Zombies flair. To start off, we're following the zombies here emerging from Dr. Zomboss's mountain lair on the attack to the first plant garden. Now to capture a base, the zombies must stand near the garden and raise their tombstone. Now the more zombies that are in the garden area, the faster the tombstone raises. And once it's fully raised, the base is captured. Now once a base is captured, the battle is going to shift to the next garden objective. Now one of the key zombie strategies in Gardens and Graveyards is the use of teleporters. Now the zombies are on the attack for the marina base here. Now the soldier is using his rocket jump to get to an elevated position over the base. Now he was enticed by the chomper, gives him some chase. It looks like he's going to get chomped for his trouble. <laughs> Teamwork is crucially important in Gardens and Graveyards. Here the soldier is going to be reviving his teammate to continue on in the push to capture the marina base. <laughs> Here we're following the engineer, attacking the next base on the dock sides. Now the engineer is starting to build turrets and teleporters. Now those turrets will defend the teleporter he's about to build here, providing defenses for the zombies that are coming out of the teleporter and keeping it active for an easy attack on the next base. <laughs> The engineer can also upgrade these turrets to make them more powerful during the battle. Now here we have a pea shooter and a soldier squaring off in front of the aquarium base. Looks like this encounter was a draw. Here we have the engineer zombie using his Zombot drone to scout out the next castle base. Now with his drone he can harass the plants from above with his pulse laser and call in the occasional Zombomb strike. We'll get back to the drone in a moment. Now here's a chomper and a sunflower working together to guard the approach to the castle base. The chomper is going to snag himself a couple of zombies in the process. Alright, now we're back to the drone, looking overhead the castle garden location, calling in a Zombox strike. With the drone disabled, the engineer is going to try and take this base on the ground. Now that's an effective use of the sonic grenade to stun the plant team, but it looks like he got caught in a chili bean explosion. The zombies have continued to advance. They're now traversing over the pirate ships to take the next base objective. Now here we have the cactus with some plant teammates trying to hold the base. To 
finish off, we're going to give you a sneak peek of the final objective on Driftwood Shores, the assault on the Mega Flower Lighthouse. The zombies must propel themselves across the water using cannons and dodge the incoming plant anti-air fire. To see the rest, pick up a copy of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare on the Xbox One or Xbox 360 on February 18th. Thanks for watching.